Breezy morning show, kid, and Sarah, hey, girl. Hi. And in honor of National Nude Day. Oh, see I'm girl. nude. It's Todd. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Double you, A-B-I. Give me five. Uh. Celebrating in the old birthday suit this morning. You got that right. You got that right, Jack. I'm nude. <laughs> you know, if, it, if this humidity continues, I'm the, I'm going to be sans clothes. I'm surprised you're holding out. I'm telling you what. Well, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I watched a little bit of the uh, YouTube video. Sarah and I have a couple what? of questions oh. about your uh, the people who reviewed the salsa oh, that you make. Yeah. yeah. Um, did you you obviously knew about this beforehand because they're wearing Todd salsa T-shirts, which Sarah and I don't have. And we okay. Would like to have. Yeah, I'm saying like maybe we'd like a T-shirt. And this would be for you to promote a food that you don't even like. Uh, no, I just need something to wipe my mouth on when I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> it serves as a bib. Really. <laughs> uh, um, I, I w- yeah. I'm not averse to trying your salsa. I would rather try your pickles. <laughs> yeah, but you don't that try. You don't like. I know that didn't sound good. So let's get past that. Well, you don't make uh, them anymore. No, I don't. It sucks. Hopefully oh. we will, but oh, we, good, we don't okay. currently. No, I try your salsa. I mean, God, everywhere I turn, there it is. I might as well try it. Everywhere I turn. Yeah, but you, you, you've already said it's a texture thing. You don't like salsa. Yes, that's not true. I, I will eat salsa. You're a liar. Uh, I'm not lying. Not the hot stuff, okay. though. Not the hot stuff. But every no, time... no, no. I promise I won't give you a jar of ghost pepper. Every time I go into... With a mild label on it. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Uh, every time that I go into Angelo's Pizza, boom, your rack's right there. There it is. That didn't sound right either. Oh, my God. Can we just... <laughs> <laughs> no, but... uh... <laughs> that display case is right there every time I walk yeah. in. Like, yeah, my really, rack is right there. You couldn't have asked for you couldn't have asked for a better spot in the store. <laughs> Although they Nico Nico treats me well in he there. He is awesome. He's the best. Yeah, he is. He, One uh... of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. But it, they've kind of reconfigured it because of COVID. Like, so you you have to enter one way and then exit the other. Yeah, you do the one way loop. Yeah, oh, right. But anyway, so bad with the uh, I would love to try your salsa at some point. So I got a story oh. for you guys today. Oh boy! I uh, I was so excited to read this that I saved it in my phone so I could print it out this morning. Let's go to uh, Florida. Big surprise! Oh. Crazy people in Shocker. Florida. A Florida oh. woman was arrested last week on allegations. That she squeezed her boyfriend's testicles so hard, no. she did it until they bled. <gasps> oh, Kelly Clarkson! Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's man. funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like she did it on purpose? Yeah, that's right. Her name is Kathy Lee Pitchford, and she's got uh, quite a mugshot. She looks like she Kathy means Lee. business. Pitchford. Pitchford. Yeah. Terrible person. Well, obviously they had some sort of disagreement, Sarah. Hmm. Ah! So, uh, if you see her mugshot, she's kind of like, don't mess with me. First, she had struck him with Yeah, a- if, uh, first of all, you notice she's painted on the eyebrows pretty heavily. Oh, boy. Yes, I just, I can't help but laugh at his quote, though. Oh, oh, boy. Kelly Clarkson. Oh, Kelly she, <laughs> she grabbed my balls until they bled. Oh, my God. I just... Oh, Kelly Clarkson. Oh. She looks cray cray. Yeah. Like, big time cray cray. He managed to get free. He's going to be fine. And she, of course, was arrested, as you can imagine. You should be. Oh, there's the boyfriend before. <laughs> oh, no, I guess not. No, that is. No. Yeah. <laughs> Here he is after. Hi, guys. How's it going? <laughs> He's, the guy says she tried to rip them off. Oh, mm. my God. And he I says, feel nauseated but he still loves story. her. I still love you, baby. Ah! I'm just going to be walking funny for a couple days. Uh, it says she tried to choke him, too. Yes, yeah, she uh, punched him, scratched his face, and uh, all that good stuff. Wow. Todd, uh, I'm going to share this with you because Sarah thought it was a good mugshot. I'm on the fence. We'll let you decide. Okay. (laughs) 
<laughs> Sorry. Well, I'm still, I'm, yeah. I'm still well, reading the breakdown of this story. You uh, should be wincing instead of laughing because that's every man's worst nightmare. Well, his quote is, something still not right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> A week later. I'm going through puberty uh, again. Oh. Poor guy. Hey, fellas, want to go grab a beer? All right, so uh, let's just, before we move on, yes, hold on. Yes. Let's. I, I got a couple other things I'm finding here. So this guy's an amateur boxer. Oh, wow. So you got to think, you know, he... he's probably fairly tough. Oh, he's also used to wearing a cup. He wasn't prepared. How could he well, not dodge her? Oh! You know, well, it, it says, grabbing. in the alleged attack, <laughs> she threw a Bluetooth speaker at him, mm. hit him with a hairbrush, and then placed him in a chokehold. Wow. Sounds like my kind of gal. He's a badass. And then he said she got on top of me and stri- was strangling me with both hands wow. with a smile on her face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yikes. I love you. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. He, and he still loves her. That's sweet. Yeah. What a love uh, story. That's okay, honey. I know you just got mad. That's oh, okay. Wow. You can grab me by the plums anytime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, anyways. Can I go? I my gum all the, uh, the facts. All right, here is the mugshot that I think is just so-so. Sarah thinks it's good. You think it's good, right, Sarah? I think it's funny. Okay. So uh, this is from Pennsylvania. The name of the man in question is David Kalb, K-A-L-B. He okay. was taken into custody by Pennsylvania police after he was found loitering outside of a neighbor's house. They asked him to take, uh, they took him into his apartment. The cops went into his place. They found 70 mushrooms, weed, and mason jars, conclu- uh, which included ingredients to make psychedelic mushrooms. He was high on the magic mushrooms, as you can see by his mugshot. <laughs> you gotta see. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at it right now. This is awesome. He's so happy. Yeah. He looks, he looks like, like, dude, I got arrested. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> he looks like a bad, like a radio station morning show. Photo. Oh my god! Hey, hey, everybody. He got that Wake front. That lady. front tooth has been knocked out. It kind of looks like Scott Miller across the hall a little bit. <laughs> so what it says is basically it says his face resembles that of someone who has just won the lottery or just walked into their own surprise party. <laughs> that is For awesome. Me? Surprise, I'm stoned. Right. He's being held on a $10,000 bail. And he don't give and he a don't care, yeah. <laughs> Right nope. now he's couldn't care less. That that is a great mugshot. Do you think that is? Thank good? you. Uh, I, I thought he. Yeah, I mean, to me, he just looks like somebody gave him a free Whopper or something. He doesn't look right. Like right, he's, right. He is so happy. Maybe you want, that, you want to be a fly on the wall in that cell when he comes down from this. Oh and yeah, what man. just happened. Oh, why does my head hurt? It goes from oh, smiles to he'll be crying in the fetal position. What are you in for? Yeah. I'm really stoned. How about you? My girlfriend grabbed me by the plums. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't let go. Uh, Oh. Uh, why, why, why go any further after two buttes like that? Oh, those are those are great. So, Todd, uh, I it looks very foreboding outside. Are we going to see more rain today? We are going to see a chance, yeah, for some uh, showers and storms. You mentioned the humidity earlier. The good news is it'll be a little bit lower today, and then more so tomorrow and Thursday we'll get a little break in the humidity for midweek. So uh, there will be a little bit of relief before it starts to build back in as we get into the weekend. But, uh, yeah, looking at uh, mostly cloudy skies on average, there are some spots that are seeing some breaks right now, but those are going to fill back in. Mostly cloudy skies on average, much cooler today, too, as temperatures only reach the mid-60s to low 70s. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will be possible mainly late morning through the afternoon and evening. Tonight, mostly cloudy, scattered showers turning less humid. Overnight lows in the 50s, and then brightening skies and less humid on Wednesday. Overall, should be a pretty good day. Morning clouds will give way to more sunshine as we go through the day. Upper 60s, mid-70s for highs on Wednesday. Mix of sun and clouds, pleasant on Thursday. Upper 60s to mid-70s, and then mostly cloudy. A few scattered showers for the end of the week on Friday. Temperatures Friday in the mid-60s to low to mid-70s. Warmer, more humid air moves in for the weekend with a mix of sun and clouds Saturday and temperatures Saturday getting into the 80s. For highs, guys. All right, enjoy nice. National Nude Day. Oh, can't wait. Be yeah. celebrating all day. <laughs> Let it all hang out. <laughs> I'm new. Yeah. I'll send you some pics. Oh, sweet. Bye. <laughs>